growing up with albinism in um, Nigeria was uh, was a painful paradox. On the one hand, um, I received love and care at home from my family. On the other hand, I was living in a society that was generally hostile to people with albinism. I was very aware that I was different from a young age and that the difference was not a good thing in the society. So my childhood memories are, are a mixed bag of the pain that society can cause when they don't understand the condition, but also the power a family can have um, when they choose to love a child unconditionally. I took the job as independent expert on albinism because I felt that I could make a difference. I felt that I could serve other people with albinism, that I had acquired enough uh, skills and enough um, life experiences to understand with compassion. Every day I stand up for people with albinism doing the most basic things such as writing Twitter messages or Facebook messages, raising awareness um, to the most complex things, including uh, doing research or moving partners to get involved or trying to um, solve problems or respond to reports of attacks. Since I took up the mandate uh, at the UN Human Rights Council, there has been some positive things on, on one hand, awareness has really exponentially increased on this issue. Um, and more recently, I, I would say since the mandate got involved, the visibility of the issue has, has really increased. Uh, more specifically though, uh, from official country visits, there has been some really remarkable changes. For example, in Malawi, they have passed laws to reinforce the protection for people with albinism. For example, they have passed laws that protect against trafficking in body parts and not just trafficking in humans and organs, which is usually the, the laws that you have. So they have tried to fill in that gap. They have also tried to uh, launch some programs in awareness raising involving the police. There has also been partnerships because I see myself as a mandate of implementation and of building partnerships for the cause. There has been a series of partnerships, many of them too long to mention here, that has come out of a lot of negotiations through this mandate. So I am very optimistic that this is only the beginning of many good things to come. If I had a magic wand and I could change anything, I would put in people's minds uh, the equal dignity and equal rights of every other person so that treatment can be equal and um, the fundamental rights of people can be respected. I would like to invite everybody to stand up for someone's rights today.